It's poised. You know, his poise is there. You know, and he he, he he want those moments even more. You know, and once you have that poise and wanting wanting it more, you know, outcomes like like he have tonight, you know, happen more often. Oh no, we like a dateline episode or something. What is going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good today as I'm feeling pretty good myself. And today I just wanted to talk about a couple things as far as the Chicago Bulls. As you guys know, we just lost DeMar DeRozan, one of the clutchest players in the whole NBA. And so now that leaves a huge void in our rotation as far as who is going to be that guy to, you know, lead us in the clutch if we ever get to that point. And so I was going through a few of the players on the team and I was just thinking who could that player be and this is bearing the fact that Zach Levine will be going I think all of us is in agreement that you know Zach probably won't be here to start the season otherwise I'll just be like yeah Zach Levine will be that guy to take the you know the clutch time shots but now thinking that you know he won't be here and he'll possibly be traded and going off the roster we have now you know who could possibly be that guy and i narrowed it down to you know a couple people and i'm gonna start off with that but you know first off if you're a true bulls fan definitely like this video definitely subscribe to my page so i'll be talking about interesting bulls things throughout the summer but who will be our guy to lead in the clutch and honestly i'm gonna start off with the guy who i feel has the greatest chance and that'd be kobe white now kobe white you know he played very well this past season you know he improved a lot he was in consideration for most approved player of the year and it got to the point to where he started making more and more clutch time shots and it got to the point where even DeRozan you know he put a lot of trust in him he was like hey I'm gonna pass you the ball you know it's fine to take the shot and you know you've seen a lot of that you've seen Kobe White hit some big shots you think of that Cleveland game where he hit that big time three you think of the uh, Sacramento game against the Kings against the Timberwolves you know Kobe White he got better and more comfortable as time went on and hitting you know clutch time shots clutch time threes you know while DeRozan he was the main catalyst for the Bulls being the one of the most clutchest teams in the NBA you know um kobe white had a huge part in that also and he made some big shots and so i feel like with those other players being gone the rose and you know um zach levine i feel like kobe white will be the lead guy into making those type of plays making those type of shots and i feel like he'll be the guy to start off in which billy donovan has the most trust into making those shots i understand we have josh giddy i'm gonna get into him in a second but yeah kobe white he's been there and he's you know he's made some things happen and also here's some of his you know clutch stats right here but one thing i also noticed while doing some research is that kobe white was actually top of the league at one point last season and plus minus in the clutch and you know as you guys know the bulls were one of the top clutch teams but kobe white his plus minus was tremendous so that means you know not only did he prepare and help create good shots but his defense was also really good in the clutch and so that's the type of player we need to um have and depend on when we're going into that type of mode towards the end of the game so we're competing at that point and so yeah kobe white he would be the player i would consider comment down below how do you guys feel about kobe white being our lead clutch go-getter when it comes down to that point but i also want to discuss a couple other players i want to talk about nikola vucevic also because i do feel like he will still be on his team by the time you know the season start and while vooch he's an experienced player former all-star he was a top player on the orlando magic team you know i feel like vooch he could also hit some big time shots but i never felt real comfortable if he held the ball on for too long i feel like with vooch being able to hit the clutch you got to find him in the right pocket you got to be able to create that space for him so he can make a quick decision a good shot because if he's down there just trying to pound the ball for a long time then yeah and he's trying to score it it wouldn't be good but if he does draw a double team Vooch does make the right passes so at that point he can help create a clutch shot possibly but as far as him quote unquote taking it and creating 
a clutch shot for himself. I don't feel really good about it, but I do feel like his experience will lead him to being one of those guys to take that shot just because he's been in the league the longest. He's probably going to be one of the guys the team depends on. And with him being there, you know, I feel like they're going to run a lot of the half court offense through Vooch. And so, yeah, Vooch is another name that I would think have a strong role as far as being in the clutch but i still think kobe white would be that main guy and another guy i want to talk about is josh getty you know josh getty he's coming in you know as a guy who was on a top team in the west and so he's been in clutch time moments not necessarily him taking a shot but he's been around somebody who has and shay gilgis and you know josh getty he knows how to do what he needs to do in order for those clutch shots to happen he knows how to create the right space maybe make the right passes make the right reads and he can also show the other players where they need to be and what they need to do and so i feel like josh giddy is going to have a pivotal role in the clutch and yeah you know maybe he will take some clutch time shots he don't seem like the type that's scared and he he will be definitely needing to call the pawn. He's going to be the guy with his ball with the ball in his hands initially, so he's definitely going to have a role. But yeah, I feel like those three players will be the key guys, you know, when it comes to being in the clutch. But don't sleep on guys like Io. You know, Io he's constantly improving, and he's constantly getting better, and I definitely would trust him in the clutch. Also, he's actually hit a couple of clutch shots in the past so he's hit a game winner and so he's definitely not scared he's never been the type of guy that's scared and so i wouldn't even put that to pass him and while you know this guy's kind of been forgotten about patrick williams i mean i feel like we'll finally be able to see what he's truly truly made of when he gets back this season you know it's no derozan there to take shots away from him zach levine probably won't be there to take shots away from him so pat he can take all the shots he wants and you're going to see you know how comfortable and what type of play he really is what he's really going to be this season so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to that but you guys comment down below how do you guys feel about these players being named in the clutch who do you feel would be the most clutchest player as far as the chicago bulls and i'm gonna holler at you guys later i'm out